Hello, my name is Jay, and I am the now primary protector of the law system. Today it's going to be a half uh, meet the altars, tell you a little bit about myself, and half think piece talking about mean or evil altars. Now, many singlets expect, and honestly, some uh, plurals uphold, this notion that every single uh, part in the system must be very uh, kind, very uh, never being mean, never being sarcastic, never never anything that isn't a happy sunshine child. I feel this mostly comes from this notion that to push back against media like Split, we must uh, swing perfectly in the opposite direction, where alters can do no wrong, and we must all be kind all of the time. This, pardon my uh, language, but I'm going to censor it anyway for YouTube, is total BS. A lot of collectives, not all, but a lot, have gone through trauma. Traumatised people, contrary to popular belief, are not always either the binary of kind, sweet, innocent, sunshine child or actual murderer. There is a middle ground. That middle ground is often someone that may protect themselves by using harsh language, by jumping on the defensive, by raising their voice. I do want to point out this is not an excuse for parts and collectives to maliciously and intentionally hurt people. Alters in their own system is another matter that I will be making a separate video on. But a lot of people conflate bad or evil altar with altar that states boundaries very clearly. That's where I come in. I'm not a cruel person. I do not make low blows. I'm not passive aggressive. But I am very honest. I tell people you have hurt us, you have triggered us, this action is unacceptable, or things of the sort. I'm not an impulsive person. I do not intend to hurt the people that I front to deal with, but if someone is hurting us, it is my job to stop that from happening again. Many parts in my system didn't like me when I first formed. They didn't like how honest I was. They thought that it would make people want to leave us because they thought that if we weren't perfectly kind and rational, well, actually, I am rational. They thought if we weren't perfectly kind and sweet all of the time, then people wouldn't want to know us anymore. They forced me, if I did get a chance to front, to tag everything that I said with a pause or not mad or genuine question or things like that. I didn't like this very much. I tend to assume the worst in people. That's a defence mechanism. If I assume the worst in people, it means that I, if people do hurt us, I do not feel betrayed, I do not feel hurt, and I can carry on with my role as normal. That does not say that there are no people that I hold some amount of trust in. Our partner system, for example, shout out to you if you're watching this, it was very clear with our system that I should be allowed to express myself how I need to. And this 
did make me rather sure that their intentions were were good. Now it is important to mention that I am a part with ASPD, Antisocial Personality Disorder. This means that forming bonds of trust, forming bonds of affection is hard to nearly impossible for me at least. I'm not saying that every person with ASPD is the same. To all the parts out there that are like me, you are needed. Your system, your collective, needs you. You should be able to express yourself like everyone else in your collective. To the parts that maybe have people like me in their collectives but do not like them very much, allow them to speak. If someone is hurting you, you deserve to have someone who can tell that person this is unacceptable. You deserve people in your life that will accept all parts of you, even if they may not be the most social to be around. Generally, if I front and it uh, someone made me front, that is a sign that you should sit up, you should take notice. As I said, I'm not someone that pulls punches. I'm slowly learning that not everyone in our life has bad intentions. But some parts, like me, may never learn that. And I want to reiterate that being cold, not being openly affectionate, not being totally trusting, is not the same as being hurtful or abusive. If people would stop making that correlation. Anyway, I'm not sure if this video had much of a purpose to it, I'm not sure if we're going to be keeping it up, but I did want to say my piece. It was nice to be on the channel. Have a good day, night, and if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.